those over here. The FSU Student Alumni Association is a great way for students to network with fellow students and alumni, develop leadership skills, and gain hands-on experience with traditional events, including the annual homecoming parade. Learn more and join alumni.fsu.edu slash SAA dash home.
says 2 o'clock. We can officially get started now. Once again, a big round of applause for our law enforcement, FSU PD, the Leon County Sheriff's Office, Tallahassee Police Department, and its honor guard starting the festivities today. We want to give a warm welcome to the Leon County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Walt McNeil is joined by his command staff and deputies of the Mounted Patrol Unit. Thank you to all of the folks in the Sheriff's Office who left their own families behind to protect and provide for us in immediate aftermath after Hurricane Michael. Florida State thanks you. And just behind is the FSU Medical Response Unit, which functions as a basic life support and quick response unit at Florida State University. Staffed by trained student volunteers, the Medical Response Unit offers support to existing emergency medical and safety units during campus events, such as football tailgates, 5K runs, the FSU Flying High Circus, Dance Marathon, and many others. Thank you to the FSU Medical Response Unit. tribe of Florida. They are an outstanding tradition in college athletics and will lead the Knolls on the field tomorrow afternoon. Hard to believe this is the 40 year anniversary of Osceola and Renegade. All right, if you were at that game in 1978, raise your hand. I want to see a show of hands if you were here for the birth of Osceola and Renegade. I see some hands over here. There we go. History made. Big round of applause as well for the Durham family and the Renegade team for all their efforts to keep this great tradition alive. See Alan Durham right downstairs. Thank you. to start early here before we get drowned out. They really don't need an introduction, but it is the finest marching band in the land, our very own world-renowned Florida State University Marching Chiefs. They're under the direction of FSU's Director of Bands, Dr. Patrick Dunnigan, Director of Athletic Bands, Dr. David Plack, and the voice of the Marching Chiefs in his 38th year is Dave Westbury. Head drum major is Alexander Arbiter, assistant drum major is Amelia Adeo, and assistant drum major Catherine Olney. If you don't know, by the way, this year they were invited to head to Normandy in France in June to perform in the 75th anniversary D-Day celebration. So once again, let's hear it for the state of Florida's finest, our very own Florida State University Marching Chiefs.
Child Care Program serves and supports FSU students, parents, faculty, and staff, enabling them to work, pursue their studies, and graduate while knowing their children are being cared for and educated in a high quality learning environment. The program provides care and early education for children ages six weeks to four years and serves as a center for research and placements for practicums, internships, etc. for students interested in working with young children. From our family to yours, our little Knowles wish you a great homecoming weekend and go Knowles. Coming up next, Florida State's very first cheerleader, Maggie Allisey. She was the first head cheerleader for the FSU cheerleading squad and earned the first varsity letter given to a woman by Florida State. Maggie Allisey is a 1949 FSU graduate in English, Journalism, and Education and received an honorary doctorate degree from FSU in 2013. Driving her today is Scott Champ, the interim dean for the College of Fine Arts, which includes the Maggie Allisey National Center for Choreography. Welcome home. The Florida State cheerleaders take pride in being part of the atmosphere that makes Dole Campbell Stadium a place for our opponents to fear. The all-girl and co-ed teams can be found cheering on our Seminoles at home volleyball games, on the sidelines of Doak at football games, and at both women's and men's basketball games. As the cheerleaders make their way up college to Westcott Plaza, I'll remind you that one of the most cherished traditions is right behind the main gates. Many of you already have your names and memories etched in the uh, Westcott bricks. To learn how you can leave your legacy there, go ahead and visit the alumni website at alumni.fsu.edu slash bricks. Once again, the FSU cheerleaders and following close behind the Florida State University Golden Girls, the official dance team of the FSU Seminoles. They can be seen dancing on the sidelines at all home football games and men's basketball games, as well as supporting women's volleyball. The team also competes nationally at the Universal Dance Association College Dance Team Cham Championships. Around campus and within the Tallahassee community, the Golden Girls serve as student ambassadors of the university doing community service and charity work with pride and professionalism. The FSU Golden Girls! I'll remind you once again that in the aftermath of Hurricane Michael, Second Harvest of the Big Bend is coordinating with the state and local emergency operations centers with a comprehensive disaster relief plan that includes several truckloads of water, thousands of emergency ready-to-eat meals, distribution capabilities, and statewide partners. The donation link and uh, all of FSU's efforts in regard to uh, Hurricane Michael can be found at fsu.edu slash michaelrelief. J.T. Thomas, Eddie McMillan, Charlie Hunt, and Bobby Anderson were FSU's first four African-American football student athletes. They were sophomores in 1970. 
Thomas McMillan, Thomas McMillan and Anderson, all NFL veterans, and JT Thomas won four Super Bowl rings with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Come visit them tomorrow, pregame at the Sod Cemetery, hosted by Doug Manheimer. Let's welcome these very special Seminoles back to campus. I don't think JT is wearing his four Super Bowl rings, or are you? <laughs> They give a side talk about an hour before every home game, so 2 or 2.30 tomorrow over at the side cemetery. The mission of Burning Spear is to further the Florida State University as a leading institution of higher education among students, alumni, and the general public. Inherent in this mission is our effort to promote and support outstanding members of the university community and strengthen our many great traditions. I think we all recognize our parade grand marshal. He looks like he could still suit up today and play just fine. Please welcome back Charlie Ward. In 1993, he led the Knowles to our first national championship while winning the Heisman Trophy, the Davy O'Brien Award, and countless other awards. Was drafted in baseball by the Brewers, was a first-round pick of the NBA's Knicks, and had a long NBA career. A well-known leader and speaker for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, he is one of the finest ambassadors for Florida State that we have. Please help us welcome back our Parade Grand Marshal, Charlie Ward. Alan, how did you get that assignment, by the way? Charlie's back in Tallahassee now, if you folks didn't know that, uh, coaching basketball at Florida High. Speaking of prominent Florida State alums, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a very warm welcome to alumnus and 15th president of Florida State University, John Thrasher, and the first lady of FSU, his wife, Jean Thrasher. A two-time graduate of FSU, Thrasher has led our great university to the cusp of being in the 25 public universities in the country. Help us thank President Thrasher for all that he does day in and day out for Florida State. Just behind the president, please welcome Mark Pearson Hill, who graduated from the Florida State College for Women with a bachelor's degree in English in 1942. She is the 2018 winner of the Bernard F. Sliger Award. Over the years, she's continued to serve their community in Florida State, and she has generously supported a vast array of areas at Florida State University, including the Colleges of Arts and Sciences, Music, Medicine, and also theater patrons. Thank you, and welcome back, Mark Hill. Junior Miss Seminole 2018, Allegra Billy, is 18 years old and lives in Felda, Florida, where she attends LaBelle High School and is currently in the 12th grade. She's an involved member of the 4-H club on her reservation in Amokalee, Florida. After high school, she plans to attend college to study to become a veterinarian. Next up from the Alumni Association, the Board of Directors Chairman from Tampa, please welcome Max Oligario. He is Chair of the Alumni Association's National Board of Directors, earned his bachelor's degree from the Florida State College of Business in 1999, serves as the Senior Vice President and Senior Client Manager in Global Commercial Banking with Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. He joins us with his wife, Amy, and their newborn son, Max Oligario III. Welcome back.
How old is Max the third now, Max? Two months? You're setting the bar high. He's already in a parade. Here come our Grad Made Good alumni winners sele selected by the Alumni Association. With a steadfast commitment to academics and athletics, Dr. Joanne Graff made a home for herself at Florida State University. With a 30-year career with Seminole softball, her legacy is ingrained into the history of our university through the many lives she has touched. The Alumni Association is proud to honor Dr. Joanne Graff as a grad made good. She and her players and many others laid the groundwork for our current national champion softball team. Welcome home, Dr. Graff. Next up, Dr. Sandra Barker. Since earning her Master's in Rehabilitation Services and her PhD in Counseling and Human Systems from FSU, Dr. Barker has become an international leader in the field of human-animal interaction. For her lifelong commitment to helping people, the Alumni Association is proud to honor Dr. Sandra Barker as one of Florida State's grads made good. And our last grad made good winner for 2018, Nancy McKay. Since earning her bachelor's degree in social sciences at FSU in 1978, Nancy McKay has made her mark on the beauty industry and a, as a respected leader, brand builder, and mentor. In recognition of McKay's unmatched integrity and compassion, the Alumni Association is proud to honor her with the Grad Made Good Award. The Friends of the Libraries Award winner this year, Diane Roberts. She is honored for distinguished writing and is a proud graduate of Florida State University, earning a BA in 1979 and her master's in 1980. Diane Roberts. Back for their 50th class reunion this weekend are two great Florida State alumni from the class of 1968. Please say hello to the 1968 homecoming queen, Paulette Gergen Lane, and class president, Bruce Blackwell. They are driven by fellow 68 grad, Palmer Williams. And right behind them is our 2017 chief and princess. Next, Mr. Deontay Biddy and Miss Emily Gallant. And our first homecoming court couple for 2018, Taylor Knight and Kimani Ward. Taylor is a senior from Palm Beach studying humanities and is sponsored by Garnet and Gold Key. Escorting her is Kimani Ward, who's a senior from Jacksonville, majoring in marketing and sport management. He is sponsored by the Black Student Union. And our court couple number two, Denisha Car Carrasco is a senior from Miami, majoring in business management and marketing. She's sponsored by the Center for Academic Retention and Enhancement. Her escort is Omar Pimentel. Omar is a senior from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, majoring in political science and economics, and he is sponsored by Pi Kappa Alpha. And the only registered unicyclist in town, Lucas Von Holland, is known as the Techno Wizard of Tallahassee. He's recognized for his game design and stunning lab coat collection and is actually a full-time instructor at FSU in the College of Communication and Information. And our third court couple, we have Brianne Burkett and Matthew Young. Brianne is a senior out of Richardson, Texas, majoring in public relations. She's sponsored by the Florida State Volleyball Team. Her escort, Matthew Young, is a senior from Jacksonville and studying finance and marketing. He's sponsored by the Student Government Association. Court couple number four, Courtney Caswell and Terrence Lane. Courtney is from right here in Tallahassee, majoring in sport management and media communication. She is sponsored by the Florida State Bat Girls. Her escort is Terrence Lane. Terrence is a senior from Kissimmee, majoring in psychology, 
He is sponsored by the Garnet and Gold King. Florida State University International Programs is proud to claim over 60 years of experience in the international education. Students are able to choose from over 40 diverse programs in more than 20 locations around the world. FSU International Programs followed by the College of Nursing Student Leadership Council. The Student Leadership Council is a GPA-based student organization comprised of the top 11 students from each nursing, nursing class. And right behind them, we have Rachel Glanton and Edgar Barrios, our fifth court couple. Rachel's a senior from Simpsonville, South Carolina, majoring in physics and Russian. She's sponsored by the Department of Physics. Her escort, Edgar, Edgar Barrios, is a senior out of Tamarack, Florida, studying political science and international affairs, and he is represented by Beta Theta Pi. The College of Communication and Information Student Leadership Council next up, a liaison group between the student body, the dean of the college, the alumni of the College of Communication and Information at FSU. And next we have Catherine Olney and Stephen Gurrier. Catherine's a senior from Johnson Beach, Florida, majoring in psychology. She is sponsored by the Marching Chiefs. Her escort, Stephen Gurrier. Stephen is a senior from Homestead, majoring in social entrepreneurship, and is sponsored by the Center for Academic Retention and Enhancement. The Division of Undergraduate Studies is celebrating 20 years of student success. As you watch FSU move up in the rankings, be aware that this division is a big part of that movement. Programs in the division, such as the Center for Academic Retention and Enhancement, the Honors Program, National Fellowships, Presidential Scholars, Advising First, and Undergraduate Research, all contribute to FSU's upward trajectory. Please welcome the Dean of Undergraduate Studies, Dr. Karen Laughlin, and colleagues. U.S. Representative Al Lawson served the people of Florida for 28 years in the state legislature as a member of the Florida House of Representatives and Florida Senate. He was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 2016 and represents Florida's 5th Congressional District. Congressman Lawson earned a master's degree in public administration from FSU and completed his coursework for a PhD in public administration. The mission of the Student Government Association is to provide FSU students with representation, services, and advocacy within the university structure. The SGA provides quality leadership for and accountability to its constituency by recognizing that the strength arises from diversity, engagement, and dialogue. City Commissioner Chris Richard Curtis Richardson is right behind them. Commissioner Richardson was a representative in the Florida House of Representatives from 2000 to 2008. He received his BS in psychology from the Florida State University in 1978 and his master's in education from the University of West Florida in 1979. The FSU Bookstore, the official store of Florida State University, serves campus and the community for over a quarter century. Five on-campus locations, they make shopping easy and convenient for students, family, fans, and alumni. Go Knowles! And here we have Leon County Commissioner John Daly. Commissioner Daly has served the citizens of Leon County since 2006. In 1996, John received his bachelor's in political science from FSU, where he served as the president of the Student Government Association. He also earned his master's in public administration from FSU in 1999. The Florida State Batgirls are a spirit organization that contributes to the nationally ranked baseball program. These members have a general knowledge of the game of baseball as well as outgoing charismatic personalities. The Batgirls' main purpose is to assist in game day operations and marketing throughout each game. Additionally, they are involved in multiple community service outreach events each semester. Let's give it up for our Florida State women's basketball team. 
led by Coach Sue Semra, who's beginning her 22nd season, the Knolls look to return to the NCAA tournament for their sixth consecutive year. They open up their season on October 28th at 2 o'clock at the TLCCC as they take on Flagler College in an exhibition. Good luck, ladies. The Garnet and Gold Guides are the recruiting hosts for FSU's football team. They work long hours on game days making sure we are providing the best experience to any and every prospect that sets foot on our campus. FSU's Garnet and Gold Guides. And the Florida State Student Foundation is dedicated to instilling a sense of philanthropy in students while enrolled at FSU. Also responsible for raising, investing, managing, and distributing funds for the further advancement of Florida State. FSU Homecoming is a student-run organization dedicated to programming the week of homecoming, the FSU Homecoming Council, that is. They would like to thank everyone for taking part in celebrating this timeless tradition. Garnet, Gold, and Glory represents all of you, and they hope to see you tonight at the once-a-year pep rally powwow featuring Nick Kroll as the headlining comedian. The FSU Homecoming Council, thank you. Job well done. The Black Student Union serves as a family, a voice, and a home for black and minority students on campus. Established in 1996, the Asian American Student Union was created to, be created to better represent the Asian American community at FSU and to spread awareness about Asian heritage and culture. This year, AASU's theme is momentum to reflect on our history and pave the world for our future. With the representation of kites, we wish to show the unity and vision of our organization. And the Hispanic Student Union you hear them. Celebrates diversity of knowledge and background. With our Carnival theme, we want to show our cultures coming together under Garnet and Gold at Florida State University. The Center for Intensive English Studies is an English language school for serious students who want to succeed in American University. CIES is part of the FSU Graduate School and works closely with departments to prepare international students for success in their programs. And here it comes Seminole Dance Force, which is Florida State University's official competitive sports club dance team and has become a nationally ranked team throughout the years. They're currently ranked third in the nation in hip hop DAA at NDA Collegiate Nationals. SDF is a student-run organization that gives each team member many opportunities to expand their interests and talents in the world of dance. Coming up next is the Gamma Phi Beta, Alpha Epsilon Phi, Epsilon Sigma Alpha, and Seminole Dance Force Homecoming that's so 70s float. The 70s theme style Volkswagen van is commemorating the 70th anniversary of homecoming at Florida State University.
Leaping Lizards, the Lady Spirit Hunters, Delta Zeta and Beta Theta Pi teamed up to transport us to the Roaring Twenties with their float. It certainly was a glorious time, or should I say, the bee's knees. Right behind them we have the Deer Lake Middle School Majorettes having been have been marching in the homecoming parade since 2002 and look forward to it every year. The principal is Stephen Mills and athletic director is Alex Stemple. Right behind the Deer Lake Major Edge, Camp Kesem, a nonprofit organization that provides a free week long summer camp to children affected by their parents' cancer. Camp Kesem gives kids a support system and a week to just be kids. Camp Kesem. And here we have Seminole Top Troop, which is Florida State University's official top team. They can be found performing around Tallahassee and FSU community events throughout the year. And this is their fourth year as an FSU club. Young Life College is a community of students from across campus journeying together to explore their faith and live the life we were made for. Wherever you are on that journey, you are welcomed here. College students can also be great Young Life leaders for middle and high school students, and we'd love for you to get plugged in with us. Young Life College. Dance Fusion Studios offers a wide variety of classes at the college level. Outside of being a place that will help you grow in your passion, you have the opportunity to perform at FSU events and in the community. And how could you miss them? But Dance Marathon at FSU is the largest student-run philanthropy in the southeastern region of the United States. Dance Marathon benefits our local Children's Miracle Network Hospital, Shands Children's Hospital, the FSU College of Medicine's Pediatric Outreach Programs, and we are one of the top five founding Miracle Network Dance Marathons in the country. Can I get an FTK? Make sure to check out our cute Miracle Children and our big red bus. Hey, Kaden, happy birthday! Relay for Life of FSU is the third largest collegiate relay in the nation, raising money for American Cancer Society programs like the Hope Lodge, Road to Recovery, and Research Grants. Students fundraise and plan events all year that culminate with a 12-hour event on April 5th of 2019. Right behind them we have Delta 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 and Phi Kappa Ta. Their float is inspired by Florida State University's colors of garden and gold and highlights our football team's strong presence on our campus. Here we have AGD and Phi Mu Alpha royally wishing you all a wonderful homecoming. Long live the Seminoles. Level Dance Company is a student-run club dance team here at FSU. Their goal is to represent Florida State University artistically at competitive events, campus productions, and community events through the art of dance. Level Dance Company. Right behind them we have 
Delta Chi, AO Pi, Best Buddies, and UK IRK. These organizations love our Seminoles and love being as active and involved in the community as much as possible. Please welcome Baptist Campus Ministries. You may have seen these gentlemen at the games before. Right behind them is Zeta Tau Alpha. Their national philanthropy is breast cancer education and awareness, and they are part of the Panhellenic community. Pi Beta Phi is participating in Homecoming with Chi Omega. Their theme is Golden Ticket, and they are so excited to be representing the Panhellenic community. participating in this year's homecoming parade. They've worked so hard to reflect the gold standard that we live up to at Florida State every single day, embracing the unity and community that has brought relationships and accomplishments to this university. The Catholic Student Union of Florida State University is a group of roughly 300 men and women from all different backgrounds. While different, they share a mutual love for Christ, each other, and our seminal family, the Catholic Student Union. No Bears Allowed is an improvisation comedy group and a sketch comedy group that performs sketch comedy, most well known for providing audiences with the funniest 30 sketches in the shortest 60 minutes, giving both performers and audiences a new surprise every time. And here rocking out, we have FSU's Rugby and Fiji. Placing an emphasis on the well-rounded brother, praising community and on-campus involvement along with social prowess. College Democrats, the oldest political organization on campus, is working hard to fight and advocate for the values of the Democratic Party. The group educates, trains, and mobilizes its members to help bring the blue wave to FSU. They meet Thursdays at 7 at HCB 214. As they're making it rain and glitter, Kappa Delta and Alpha Tau Omega are so excited to honor and participate in homecoming this year. The process to this week, they say, has been a blast. The W.E.B. Du Bois Honor Society is a scholastic leadership and service organization which recognizes the academic achievements of African-American students. 
Their purpose is to honor the memory of their outstanding educator, Dr. W.E.B. Du Bois, by promoting the pursuit of academic excellence in all fields of higher education and to engage the community of scholars in service to others. Right behind them we have Phi Mu, Sigma Alpha Epsilon, and Alpha Kappa Psi. They're so excited to be part of the 70th annual homecoming in this year's parade, and their theme is a tribute to the FSU legend. Florida State University's largest and most prominent LGBTQ plus student run organization, Pride Student Union. One of the six executive agencies of the Student Government Association, their mission is to advocate for, empower, and provide community spaces for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer people in Tallahassee. Next up we have Kappa Alpha Theta, KA, and the Pre-Law Club. They've all come together, together to show their school spirit and love for FSU. Yellow Cab is your Knoll Cab, $5 carload in allotted area at knollcab.com. No more meters, guaranteed pricing, and never any surge pricing. Download Ride Yellow app and receive $5 off your next ride. Go Knolls! Sigma, who love the Knowles and want to wish you all a happy homecoming. Springtime Tallahassee is a civic organization dedicated to the promotion and preservation of Tallahassee's history and was originally chartered to keep Tallahassee as Florida State Capitol. There are five crews, each representing historical time periods of our state's history. They celebrated their 50th anniversary earlier this year. They're led by President Mike Melder, his wife Ann, General Chairman Samantha Fulton, and Andrew Jackson, 47, Philip Bacon, and his Rachel, Nikki. Next up, university photographer Bill Lax. And closing out our parade this year is the Rickards High School JROTC, an award-winning Army JROTC program from right here in Tallahassee, led by Lieutenant Colonel Proctor and Master Sergeant Carrison. Please welcome the Rickards High School JROTC Raider Battalion. Hua. That concludes the parade festivities, but not the weekend's festivities. Thank you so much for coming back to Florida State University. Pow out tonight, the game tomorrow at 3.30. Welcome home, and go Knowles!